Church would have been a contentious issue for Elliot during her life in college, and yet it was another area of life where she repeatedly demonstrated just how single-minded she was. In 1842, she refused to attend church, which alienated her from her family, especially her father, who thought that this was disastrous for her reputation and marriage prospects. She even referred to it as their holy war, even further, when in 1844, she decided to take on the task of translating scouts, which was a text that questioned the historical Jesus. Clara Bray's writing portrays the task as a lengthy and tedious job, and hence her completion of the project certainly speaks to a dedication to critical thought on her part. And yet we know her time in Coventry would have contributed to this, as in 1850, Elliot moves in with the Brays, where she spends her days mixing with radical, colourful thinkers of Rose Hill, which was an environment where she could explore ideas. But it would be rather wrong to say that she abandoned faith completely. Rather, her personal relationship with God appears to have been what got her through her writings. From her very first publication in 1840, featuring a religious poem, until her later works where the cross sat on her writing desk, Eliot seems to have felt close to God.